Hi everybody, welcome to our channel. I want to make a quick video today on TRPs, Temporary Resident Permit. Um, I don't think I've done a video on this or maybe I've mentioned it uh, in passing in other videos. Um, temporary Resident Permit is an application for uh, foreign nationals who are inadmissible or who may be inadmissible. Uh, to Canada or that are in Canada without any status. There's different ways to apply for a TRP. You can apply for a TRP if you're in Canada. You can apply if you're outside of Canada. You can apply for a standalone TRP or you can apply for a TRP um, within an application. For, for example, with a humanitarian and compassionate application, with a spousal sponsorship, with a criminal rehabilitation application, with a temporary resident visa, a visitor visa. Um, online, on the IRCC website, there are some information about TRPs and there are information in manuals uh, and um, guidelines and regulations. However, um, I would say that TRPs it's an a, T a TRP is an application that an experienced lawyer will know um, exactly when to apply and why. You could apply on your own, and there are clients who do, but what I'm trying to say is that there's a lot of scenarios where one would not know that you can apply for a TRP. <clears throat> so, for example, if you have somebody who has been... Um, who's received a bar, a misrepresentation bar um, from IRCC and they're um, barred from entering Canada for five years or for applying. Um, now, there is the possibility, you can always apply a TRP, it doesn't mean it's gonna be approved. Uh, the TRP is based on the discretion of the officer. It's the officer who's going to decide whether it will be issued or not. But you, there is a possibility of applying for one if there's, if there's really strong, compelling circumstances, for example, minor children involved, um, the person has to stay in Canada or has to come to Canada, there are some chances that it could be issued. Now, when it comes to misrepresentation, it's very, very, very difficult to get a TRP issued, but it's not impossible. Same thing for, ex well, same thing for, for example, crimin criminality. If somebody has a DUI, for example, from um, Sweden, and they want to come and visit Canada, but they are not yet eligible for rehabilitation. It's going to take, for example, two more years, but they want to come and visit or there's a wedding they want to come to. Now, somebody from Sweden doesn't need a visitor visa to come to Canada. They can just get on the plane, buy a ticket, get on the plane. They need to apply just for an ETA, which is automatic. But given the criminality and the, given that the person is inadmissible, then that person needs to apply for a TRP um, because if the officer at the border asks questions, and even with the ETA, there, I believe there is a question about criminality, um, you could be questioned at the border upon entry to Canada, you could be denied entry, you could get an exclusion order, you could be sent back, so it creates a lot of problems. Uh, but if you want to enter correctly, properly, properly the legal route, then you have to and can apply for a temporary resident visa at the embassy responsible for um, your country of citizenship. So it's a form, it's photos, there's a $200 fee. You have to include documentation about your circumstances. So if it's about misrepresentation, what happened, why, why do you think you deserve to come to Canada on a TRP? If it's criminality, all of the documentation with respect to the criminality, um, why do you want to come to Canada? Who do you want to visit? Why is this a compelling situation? Um, processing time with respect to TRPs, that's a little bit tough because it's it's not really online. There's no posted times. It really depends on the country, the situation, um, the story, but it could take a very long time. Uh, it could pay, it could easily take six months. It could take 12 months. It can even take longer. It's kind of like a um, a mysterious application that is sent into kind of like a black hole and then nobody really knows what happens until something happens and we have to follow up and there's ways to uh, get information so this is what I meant earlier by saying that it's 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 kind of a, an application that an experienced lawyer would be able to propose it's not always the right thing to do it really depends and at the end of the day it's an exceptional category for exceptional circumstances 
Um, so if you are in this type of situation and you think that you may not be able to come to Canada and maybe a TRP would work, you've done your research but you're not sure, um, we recommend to consult with an immigration lawyer uh, to see if a temporary resident permit um, is suitable for you or perhaps you're filing an application and you're inadmissible and you you're going to request an exception you're going to request the officer's discretion but sometimes adding a request for a trp in your letter adding the 200 dollars fee the trp form um specifically indicating that you're making that request can can make a difference and can make the officer not refuse your application or refuse your underlying application but issue to you that special permit the temporary resident permit if you have any questions about this uh, you can contact our office thank you